Okay, December 26th. Me and the kids decided we're gonna go for a little hike and make some lunch and have some hot chocolate. Right, kids? Yeah! You ready? Yeah! <laughs> okay. Well, we'll head up in the mountains. We'll go for a little hike. We'll take you along. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas. <laughs> One of the cool things about living where we live is that we can get to the places where we can hike within five, ten minutes. So it's not that tough to get out and go. Have no excuses. But a lot of cool blessings of living where we live. Because there's a lot of places to go do what we love to do. Right? Rayo! As you can see, it just recently snowed here. Uh, it's snowing still. Uh, we've got a ton of snow in the last couple of days. Awesome. Hey kiddos. Ready to go for a hike? Yep. We're all bundled up and ready in the snowy day after Christmas. So here we go. Little sled in action up here. Got to make a trail first. Here went the boy. Okay, I got my one of my tripods right there. But there's a tree I pit we picked to build our little lunch under. Um, gives us a little camp here while we build our lunch. We got snow clothes on, so it's not a big deal. Um, but, and I also saw some weeds underneath here that have been sheltered a little bit from the snow. And we'll process some of these dead branches and just enough to get a boiled water and for lunch and some warm water for hot chocolate. So, anyways, well, I brought with me my MSR pot, one of my MSR pots, and another MSR, I think that's what I brought. I brought the kettleist with me, which is new. I got my little stove, which we'll see in a minute. You've seen that before in some of my videos. Uh, the kettleist. Ah, uh, it's not an MSR. GSI. My bad. So we're stopped under a tree. Um, I'm gonna make a little fire. I've got my MSR, one of my favorites. This little cook pot that I always just keep stoked with. Every time I wash it, clean it, I always fill it with top ramen, lightweight. And if I forget to bring something, I know I can always bring this. So every time I take this home and wash it, just a little tip. I throw something in there for the next time. These are always easy to throw in. You can fit two in there. Perfect. And then I pack it up, throw it with my camp stuff, and it's always ready. So I didn't even have to I didn't have to worry about what we're gonna cook. We can always live on top ramen. If you don't eat it a ton at home. So when we take it camping it always tastes better. Uh, so that's the one pot I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use that for lunch. And then I'm going to use my new, getting everything all full of snow, uh, GSI Kettleist for the hot chocolate that we're going to have. Um, comes in its little pack sack. Um, I like it because you can put it on a fire, right directly on the fire, or on a cooking surface, stove, or you can hang it above the fire, which is nice. 
Um, in the instructions it says you don't want the flames coming higher than the pot, just touching the bottom. Um, because it's the lightweight edition, you know, it's the aluminum lightweight backpacking kettle. Anyways, be, this will be my first time using this. Uh, I've, all, I've wanted one for a while, but I just got it, so we'll put that to work today. Yeah, but don't make any snowfall down. I'm going to hang out in the tree. Uh, other than that, I brought a bunch of Ica knives because I wanted to do some chopping. Hey, I want to do chopping. There's the big chopper, one of the big oh, choppers. Um, so we're going to give them some cold I'll weather testing. What about like this, Shaylee? No, see, it drags. Got a couple cups. Um, these cups actually came with my. St a Stanley cook cup canteen that I bought. Um, I just threw them in. I thought that'd be easy to mix some hot chocolate so in for the kids. Not my favorite cups. Normally just drink out of whatever I have. But. And I got a, this water bottle. Then I got three liters or two and a half liters actually in my my backpack bladder that I. Always carry the Geiger rig bladder. And that's about all I got with me. Oh, besides my ribs pack. That's a whole nother. I carry my cameras in my ribs pack. I carry this. Uh, this is a camera I was just kind of messing around with. It's, it's a Kodak place for it. Kind of testing it, see. How I like it. It's really compact, this so I like that about it. Um, right, now I wanna make this ooh, I got my yeah. got a 22 start um, Walter right here. P22 okay. in my but remember, in. pocket right here. I usually keep it in my ribs in. pack, but uh, I got it in my then. cargo pocket down here. I can see it off. Um, in fact, <laughs> I'm gonna throw it in my backpack. <laughs> Keep it from getting into the weather while I'm down on the ground. Uh, my ribs, so I got my phone, my cameras, yeah. all no, my just in case survival stuff. Down. I got a fire kit. Um, but don't go like this, whooping. Just go tear, tear, tear. I got some paracord, tear, tear. a couple flashlights, some gloves, some some granola bars, some jerky. The kids quit talking because they heard jerky. Um, got a filter, water filter in here, just one of those little, um, straw filters I always keep in my ribs. I'll do a complete separate, I've kind of get my, got my ribs packed okay, down to the point where, thinking. where I feel pretty comfortable with it. And I just always leave it packed, so it's one of those packs I just throw now on and go. And I wear it all the time. It's the one pack that I take everywhere. Even if I don't take a backpack, I take my ribs pack. Okay. We're going to get to cooking and building the fire. And a top. You can see that little stove we there. To make legs, just Hopefully. Have, like this be our legs. Let's make a circle. And so now. That pretty help me make a circle. I got. And then let's flat out the top. Come on, flat with me. Okay, can I see the show? Some cotton balls. Yeah. Um, some fat wood. Which will make our fire starting a little bit easier, of course. Um, I like to always have that on winter hikes because you get dealing with wet wood, so it's better to have some continuous flame to help. Um, we will start this fire today. Ta-da! using one of these primitive flame makers. Primitive. So, first I'm going to do just a little bit of prep work with a Eakin whiskey knife. 
feel these shavings. Jimmy, do you want to help me make some chairs? I'll help you in a minute, okay? Jimmy, I'm already making. I like the stove because it's got a little venting in the bottom. So if you, you can always. If you want some more air, just dig your little channel underneath it. It'll give it some more air. Except I'm standing right in the line of fire. Okay. Now we're gonna get some cooking going. So, let me get my MSR pot. When you suck it up, it hates it into water, Shannon. No. Huh? Love this, by the way. When you, I think I said when that you already. Get stone your mouth and you suck it up, there, I said it, it twice. turns into water. Got the ramen. Do you want to take your sour? And I'm going to put the ramen uh, right in. With the seasons. Kings. Just making more smoke come out of it. Yeah. Let that get going. So if we were stuck here, what do you think you'd want to do? I would just build a camp. I would just call. I would just call the. I would just Steven, There's no cell phone service here. That means you can't call anyone. So what would you do? Build a better so camp? I would, I would to big, I would to build a big fire. A bigger fire, yeah. Probably want to build a bigger fire to stay warm, huh? Not just a little cooking fire. And then maybe something to stay out of the snow. And like right now, I have my my poncho, like a big tarp that we could put it over us. Be able to use the paracord to have in my pack and build a little. Don't, Shelter. Don't burn your um, love. Jack, could you give me one? Be hey, careful. Watch there's your pants. bubbles. <sighs> here, bud. You want, you want to break up some sticks? Dad, there's fire right here. Yep. That's it won't okay. go into the snow. It goes into the snow and it dries out. What? Where's for me? You want to break some up? You betcha, I'll get you some to break up. You want to break up this one? You can break the little pieces off the ends of that one. Just be careful not to. Can we both do that one? Because I'm down. Okay, let's both do it, shall we? Like this. Grab it and, and break it again. It's starting to get warm. 
Oh, yeah. We're about, a bit of, about at a boil already. Huh? We're almost at a boil. Well, we are boiling. I like that little stove. Where'd you get it? I'm not sure where I got that one. Okay, so I'm going to hmm, stir this up a little bit. That must be a new store, huh? Silly. <laughs> Ooh, I'm noodles. So do we all each get our own bowl, or are we going to share? Uh, we'll see. I guess we're going to share. You want to share? I don't care. Okay, I think we're good on this. We can start cooking our hot chocolate. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Stir that you up a little bit. You used to draw it in mm. the sky with fire. When you used to do that, Shaley. When you used to do that. Got it. This is kind of a last minute trip, so. Any last minute trips? Ramen's usually the dinner. I'm a big fan of ramen. Me too. Me too. Me three. Lightweight and easy me to cook. Me three. Yeah, let that sit you know for a minute. Put it out? Now we're going to get some water. Yeah. I just want to show you one of the benefits of having one of these Geiger rig bladder systems in your pack. It's a, it's a pressurized system, so you pump. It's got a little hand pump. Pump that up, and I can put that water right into my pot. Instead of having to pull out my bladder and put it in there. It's like my own little faucet. That's pretty cool. See, look at this stick. Or if you need to wash your hands or give your dog a drink. Awesome. That'll give me about enough water that I need for hot chocolate. It just melts from the So throw that top on. I'll put it right over the fire. Heat it up. Marshmallows, gotta have marshmallows with hot chocolate. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy marshmallows. Mar and yummy marshmallows, gum drops. Hot chocolate <laughs> mix. Oh, yeah. I am a smoke fairy. I am too. Hey. We are smoke fairies. We need more fire, Dad. I'm going to put the rest of these ones in that have fallen. You can watch this. You go like this and I'll go. What do you get out of coming? Smoke, smoke is coming out of your mouth, Shaley. We can't make our stick, or else our wands won't work anymore. Good. This is a better stick. I know. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Ooh, I want this new one. She needs to pour. She, cause look. Oh yeah. <laughs> I want this one. Here's the other one. I don't have it. I don't have a good one. Oh, 
go find another stick, I guess. Some more um, fatwood in there? No, we're good. The snow, I, I wave my eyes in the snow. So, so. Okay, time to make some hot chocolate. Look, little fire. Little fire? Don't we do it yet until there's a lot of fire. Oh. Stop it! Oh, 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 getting bigger! That's not a lot of fire, Jamin. Yay, Smokey! Yeah. It's building, it's building! Don't, don't get it until, there, until this is on fire in the lots, okay? That way you can both get some. Mmm, hot chocolate. And ramen. And there's sticks in there, Dad. And sticks. Ew! Ew! Is there really sticks in there, Dad? Nope. Well, I saw a stick in there. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Sticks just add to the flavor. Now, a nice frozen marshmallow. No fire! This <laughs> Nice big marshmallow. Each cup. How many? Not two big ones? Yeah. Okay. Too big How, what one are you getting? You guys are getting these ones. I'll get another one after they're done. Why? Is there still more mix? Okay. Yep. Where? In the back somewhere. <coughs> really? All right. Ready for lunch? How's the hot chocolate? Mm, delicious. Good? Mm -hmm. Did it warm you right up? <laughs> Good. Ready for some top things. ramen? Jimmy, you ready for some top ramen? Sure. You want to find a cup holder? I'm making my own cup holder. Are we going to share the top ramen, or are we going to have several bowls? I'll probably put some in this other bowl, huh? so you guys can have your own bowls. Yeah. I'm making a cup holder out of snow and ice. Not really ice, but just snow, you know. <laughs> I'm talking weird. You are. <laughs> Good thing I'm videoing. Huh? Good thing you're on video. What? So everybody else can see it too. <laughs> okay, Damon, you ready for the top ramen? Tell me when my dream is over. Please. Here you go. Put it right there. Put it, um, you're still in your hot chocolate. Come over. In your gloves. There's your top ramen. Shale, you ready for yours? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go.
How is it? It's delicious. The top ramen good? The hot chocolate good? Just a perfect little hike and lunch or what? Perfect. Perfect Dava. Can you please say that? You didn't catch that on the Simply video. Simply my two cents. Picnic style. Is that what you're gonna call it? Hmm? It's still snowing. Amazing! How is it, bud? Good. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. Silly? I was born in a country where people admire their great sporting heroes and how they aspire to stand upon mountains and always be winners and never give less than their all. I once met an old man who told me great stories of legends of old who played hard for the glory of lifting the cup in that moment of triumph. These memories kept me enthralled On the fields, the fields of glory On the fields where boys become men On the fields, the fields of glory the best team win, win in the end. Supporting their team with the true sense of place are the handfuls of people with pride on their faces. They come from the townlands, the parish, the village, their banners they proudly unfurl. So 